Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. Hope you're having an amazing day. This is a completely spur of the moment trip, but Ying and I were invited to Phuket for this extreme, like full on amazing food event. And it will be hosted at this really exclusive, really high end uh, hotel in Phuket. And this is gonna be really a, a, an opportunity of a lifetime, the combination of the food and hotel, and I can't wait to share it with you. We're staying at a hotel called Sipanwa. It, it actually has its own little mountain hill and it's located at the very southern tip of Phuket. So it's about a 45 minute to an hour drive from the airport. We've got our own private swimming pool. We just arrived to Sipanwa, we got all checked in. Ying and I got the, this is the garden, family garden villa, so it has a garden view. Uh, but we're somewhere on the top of the hill, the sea is surrounding us, this place is gorgeous. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a full tour of the room and also walk around, but I had to jump in the pool first. All right, so this is the whole outdoor area. It's kind of the courtyard of this villa. The swimming pool is down there. And that pool is amazing. It's a saltwater pool. And I can taste a little bit of salt water on my, on my lips right now. But if you come over here, this is a little outdoor kitchen. You have the fridge and all the drinks are available at your disposal. Actually, I'll have the water right now. Oh, I didn't see that step. Hello, Ying and Micah. Hello. Oh, Micah's ready to swim. Hello. Micah. But, oh, okay, check this out. This is the, this is the sliding glass door. Probably one of the coolest things about this room. A sliding glass door that opens right into the pool. And then over here is the, it's a gigantic bed which occupies the center of the room. And then moving to the back here is the, the bathroom area. The huge bathroom area. Whoa. <laughs> it's giant. I haven't even come back here yet, uh, but we have double sinks and we have a gigantic tub back here. I don't even know what, what this where this door goes. Oh Back to the room <laughs> Okay, you can go around in a circle here and what's back here? Oh Okay, so the tub the tub is over here and then over here. This is a shower but then there's also, oh yeah, there's an outdoor shower too. And, oh, hello toilet with the garden view. I think that completes this little tour of our villa. It's really self-sufficient. There's, there's everything you need in here. Really nice. Uh, it's really an honor to, to be invited here. I'm very thankful. We are on our way to a place called Baba Nest, which is a rooftop or a pool top uh, bar and area and we're gonna see the sun set there. The designs at this hotel are incredible. This is Baba Nest somewhere, oh, here it is right here. Wow, the view is unbelievable. You get like a full, it's a, at least a, well, it's a kind of a 360, but at least a full 180, 220 degree view of the, of the sea around. I'm hanging out now. This is my good friend, David Khalifa and he is one of the ultimate food lovers in the world. He's an amazing guy. Uh, he especially specializes on Instagram and he's the hungry tourist. And David is the one who masterminded this entire connection of food and at food pop-up at Sipanwa. So I want him to quickly just explain what's going on and what, yeah, what's even happening here. Yeah, what I do in my life is just travel, uh, meet a lot of people and eat good food. We have uh, Wagyu Mafia bringing uh, 40 kilo of the primus, prim primus of primus of Kobe beef from <laughs> Japan and uh, uh, Sato-san, uh, one Michelin uh, sous chef, uh, brought uh, fish, actually the fish was uh, flown from Skiji Market this morning. Tonight sushi, tomorrow Wagyu. Oh, that's like two nights in a row of like the best food possible in the world. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. It's amazing, Bob. Yeah, the view is incredible. As you can see, they have no, no chairs here, only bean bags. And look who else is relaxing to the max right now. 
Here, Micah. Okay, Micah. It is by far the best time of the whole day right now. It's time for dinner and here with David and Juan and also Kit and Lek. Hello. And we have incredible seats right in front of Sushi Master Hiro Sato. And he is he's starting on the first course. This is omakase, so the chef is just deciding what we're gonna eat tonight. And oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Tuna hand roll. Thank you. Tuna hand roll. Eat it quickly, quickly. Okay, this is the first one, the tuna hand roll. Right out of the chef's hand. I gotta eat it quickly. Wow. Oh. oh wow. Oh I can't even believe it. I don't even That's just that's just like melting tuna in your mouth with a little bit of rice and extraordinarily fresh seaweed that is just just crisp but really fragrant. Oh wow you yeah. This is the most amazing and we're starting with it, just imagine. Yeah, starting with the... Mmm! <sighs> it's ice cream. Next course is Bonito smoked mackerel. It's just beautifully, artfully designed as well. Sliced into thin strips and then decorated gorgeously. Oh, it's so pure. Oh, it's so delicate. Oh, and look at next course. <laughs> the next course we have is a Japanese spring salmon with dashi. And this is like a in a cocktail cup. Oh. There's a chunk, a nugget, a nugget of salmon down here. Oh, oh I can really smell the dashi. You can really smell the stock, yeah. Mm, just a, like a like a roasted, smoky, but again, very delicate um, aroma. Wow. Okay. I don't want to overuse melt in your mouth, but I can't. I can't help it. Everything is melting in my mouth right now. <laughs> Chef has started on the sushi courses and the first one, and it was just, it's just unbelievable to sit here in front of him and watch him prepare the sushi. Everything he does is just with incredible precision and with amazing expertise and with passion as well. And the first one is flounder. Oh, the rice. The rice is awesome with a little bit of a sour taste to it. Next up is squid. <laughs> I think so. I hope so. Oh, that has this amazing crispness to it. Six months. Six months. Oh, it's so fresh. It's mm, the texture. The texture is awesome. So soft, yet with a little crispness to it. This baby snapper. Baby snapper. Thank you. This one is baby snapper, and just look at that. Look at that ratio. That fish. The little little cluster or clump of rice and then just the, the light seasoning but it's absolutely perfect. It's so soft. It's so tender. It's a baby. Yeah, just a baby snapper. This is poi shell. Pen shell. For this one, it's a pen shell and he added on some zest of the yuzu which is a, a citrus. <laughs> That is insane. It sort of has the texture of a, a little bit of a scallop, but like more meaty almost. And then you can really taste that sharp citrusy flavor of the, the yuzu. Golden eye snapper. This next one is golden eye snapper. This is a meal I never want to end. My whole, I want to just sit here for the rest of my life and keep eating. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's bringing a tear to my eye. Oh, that's butter. Oh, that's so tender. And I get a little bit of citrusiness in that. The, the, the ratios of ingredients and the, the balance of freshness is just insane. Something I've never experienced before in my life. This is, this is unreal. The next course is akami, which is the lean tuna, that pure red, and it's just shining with the, with the sauce that he's brushed over it. It's, it's, I'm, I'm like actually whimpering right now in, in satisfaction and anticipation. Oh, I don't even want to chew. Oh, I don't need to chew. Ridiculous. And as soon as you finish one, one best bite of your entire life, another best bite of your entire life comes. This one is the medium fatty tuna. Oh my kama. Oh, it just like plays with your tongue. Oh. Oh. It's turning to liquid right now. What really fascinates me is how he works both of his hands together, uh, but doing separate tasks. He, he does it with just like immaculate precision and just pure love. When you eat this one, close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So talk to tuna. Here it is, the otoro, the fatty tuna belly. And this is one of the most beautiful things that I maybe I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yeah, you said that you're going to see Bangkok, right? <laughs> I'm talking. That is undoubtedly one of the single best bites. You cannot explain that sensation in words at all. And also, what's amazing about a, a eating sushi this way is the interaction with the chef. It's, it, that's really part of the experience. We are halfway through the menu right now, but... Yeah, this is a meal I never want to end. This one is the gizzard shad. Marinated in vinegar. Okay. It's really, really good. You, you taste the sourness, but it's subtle, but then it keeps on coming. Next piece is botan shrimp. And that is, that is just beautiful to look at. Natural, the natural sweetness, and then that that wasabi flavor in there. Oh, it's a little bit like kind of a gummy as well, but so soft. Oh, that sweetness just keeps on coming as you keep on chewing. Oh, it's like a lingering natural sweetness to that shrimp. Next up is the shrimp. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. One is the tile fish marinated kelp. Mm. <laughs> that one has a little bit more of a chewy texture to it. Yellowtail amberjack marinated to soy sauce. This one is yellowtail amberjack marinated soy. And this has a nice little like golden yellow color to it. Spectacular. Again, next up this is a clam, and chef has said that this is a, a very traditional piece of sushi as well. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's very muscular and has a little bit of a crunch to it. And again, that natural sweetness of that seafood is just awesome and so fresh. Thank you. Next one, this is the monkfish liver, and what he did is he took a little ball of rice, and then he wrapped it around seaweed, then he added the monkfish liver, and then he, I think he um, grated on maybe yuzu? <laughs> it tastes like pudding. <laughs> <laughs> like the best pudding ever. <laughs> It's time for uni, and uni is sea urchin. 
This is, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is one that you have to take a moment of silence out of your time to just admire. The golden color, the, the like, the shimmer of it, the juiciness of it. Here. It's unexplainable. That is ice cream of the sea. It's so delicate. It has a little bit of a seafoody flavor. But the custardy texture and the like the earthiness of that is unbelievable. I'm at loss for words. Next piece is the rosy sea bass, and it does look kind of rosy. Wow, even in my fingers healing it, it feels kind of like, um, feels kind of squishy, the fish. Wow. Oh, that one is amazing. Oh, it's like, it's so fatty. It tastes like pure pack. It wasn't unexpected because every bite has been been unbelievable. But that was amazing. Rosy sea bass. Next bite is sea eel. <laughs> and actually in your fingers. You can actually feel how it's like almost dissolving in my fingers before I even bite it. <laughs> that might be one of the softest things that's ever gone in my mouth. Eel that I've tasted is more buttery, but this was actually more creamy. We have come to the end of this omakase meal, this life-changing meal. And the last one is a traditional omelet, and chef uh, put some sugar on top, and then he, he blowtorched it. <laughs> Oh, and here's Chef. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat. You. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. has been this has been a life changing meal. Yeah, one of the, one of my the best meals I've ever had in my life. It's my pleasure. It's amazing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah, much. Have to eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One bite. <laughs> one bite. Okay. What two bites? Two bites. Two bites. Okay. Two bites. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is a type of like egg custard. Thank you very, very much. That's amazing. I never wanted this meal to end. <laughs> Chef, thank you. We just made it back to the villa, and it's only right that I share my, my ending thoughts about that meal and this day with you from the pool. Oh, it's kind of cold now. Oh yeah. Being able to swim at night is one of the best reasons to have a private villa. Oh, I love swimming at night. This is fantastic and it feels, oh, okay, it is a little bit cold at night, but it's so refreshing and feels so good after a meal like that. So I, I want to say a huge thank you to Chef. I want to say a big thank you to David Khalifa. Uh, and you've got to go follow his Instagram. He's the hungry tourist. I'll leave his links in the description box And finally I want to say a big thank you to Si Panwa this hotel and all the staff here who have been really really helpful and very friendly uh, And also to Kun Blawan Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Also, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below and if you're not already subscribed subscribe for lots more food and travel videos I will see you on the next video. Thank you again for watching